Here's your directions for workplace what's missing. You will need a record sheet, two dot dice, two number dice, and your number rack. This can be played as an individual game or a partner game. If this is a partner game, each partner will have your own record sheet, but you will share the dice. You will also record your own answers. Let's begin. First, we're going to roll our dot dice. We rolled a 5 and a 1. We're going to add those numbers together. 5 plus 1 is 6. In our first roll box over here, we're going to write the number 6. Then we're going to roll our two number dice. We rolled a 1 and a 1. We're going to add those two numbers together. 1 plus 1 is 2. We're going to write the number 2 in our second roll box. Then we're going to use our number rack to display these two numbers. We have 6 and we have 2. We're going to find the difference. So we're going to match up 1 to 1 and see what the difference is. The difference is 1, 2, 3, 4. So on our question mark box, we're going to write the number 4. We had 4 missing. Now we need to determine, did we have to add the 4 to the 6 to get the 2? Or did we have to take away? We had to take away. We subtracted. So we're going to circle the subtraction. Now we're going to do that again. We're going to roll our dot dice. We have 6 plus 2. So we have 6, 7, 8. On our box that says first roll, we're going to write the number 8. Now we're going to roll our number dice. We rolled a 5 and a 5. We know 5 plus 5 is 10. So on our second roll box, we're going to write the number 10. Then, using our number rack, we're going to reset everything back to the right, and we are going to show what we just rolled. Our first roll was 8, so we have 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to push 8 beads over. Our second roll was 10. We're going to push 10 beads over. Now we need to find the difference. We know that this one has two more. So on our question mark box, we're going to write the number 2. Now we need to decide, did we have to add 2 to 8 to get 10, or did we have to take away? Well, when we went to 8, we had to add 2 more to get to 8. So we're going to circle the addition. You're going to do this for C. Once you're done, you're going to write the answers over here in these boxes. So A's question mark, so A's question mark is four. Write the number four. B's question mark was two. You're gonna find C's question mark, then you'll add all three numbers for your score. The player with the largest score wins.